A couple of years ago, I saw Jesus in a dream. And I found this quite interesting, as I have often heard missionaries say, if you see Jesus in a dream, we can help you. In other words, they intend to convert someone to Christianity based on this dream. So I thought it would be appropriate to analyse this and discuss the implications of dreams and this proposition. Firstly, in my dream I saw Muhammad وسلم, calling the Adhan and then after that I saw Jesus, peace be upon him, calling the Adhan. To make sure you understand what I heard Jesus calling out, let me translate the Adhan, which goes like this except it is repeated twice. Allahu Akbar, God, Allah is the greatest. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. I testify that there is no God worthy of worship except God, Allah. Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. I testify that Muhammad is the messenger of God. Hayya ala salah. Come to prayer. Hayya ala al-falah. Come to success. Allahu Akbar. Allah, God is the greatest. La ilaha illallah. There is no God worthy of worship except Allah, God. So what is the significance of dreams? Are they a form of revelation and to be followed as these Christian missionaries suggest? If so, then my dream would signify that Islam is the true religion and Jesus, peace be upon him, also calls to worshipping one God and Jesus further testifies that Muhammad is God's messenger. This is my dream and there are many others who have seen dreams and converted to Islam. However, there are also many who have seen dreams and converted to Christianity. For this reason, it is impossible to say that dreams are always true and always a form of revelation. So let us think about the different types of dreams. Firstly, there are dreams of the prophets which are revelation. And this was seen in the case of Abraham who was commanded to sacrifice his son, who was later then ransomed for a sheep. Secondly, there are nightmares which everyone agrees are not true. These dreams are inspired by the devils. Thirdly, we have dreams which are a result of our thoughts. Fourth, and lastly, we have dreams which are good true dreams with glad tidings. The example of these dreams are the dreams that Joseph, peace be upon him, interpreted for the prisoners and the king. However, sometimes the devils may play with our minds and give us dreams which will divert us from the truth. So we need to take care to take our dreams as a form of guidance which we can then use our intellect to search the truth of the matter, as opposed to following them blindly and being led astray. Then how do we distinguish the truth from falsehood? The truth can be known by understanding the ways of God. Throughout history, God has sent many messengers and prophets to teach mankind to worship him alone and to obey his messengers. To make sure the people knew they were sent by God, they were given signs or miracles like an authorization stamp from God. God has sent many messengers, including Noah, Moses, Jacob, Joseph, Abraham, and including Jesus and Muhammad, peace be upon them all. And all of these messengers were given signs from God, miracles to prove the authenticity of their prophethood. Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, being the last messenger, was given a miracle which would stand the test of time, the Qur'an, the preserved word of God. An illiterate man produced a literary masterpiece which has never been matched until today. Confirming these facts on an intellectual basis will guide the searcher of truth to God, and when faith is mixed with knowledge, it delights the heart. And those who believe and do good deeds, for them are gardens of delight, beneath which rivers flow. May God guide us all to the truth and to be sincere in all our affairs. Amen.